Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki Lafleur. Today I'm going to quickly jump into how I transform this lace wig. I got this wig from Ulova. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but <laughs> I got it from here, paid with my own money. And um, I haven't actually worn this here before. I really just wanted to transform it first and then get a good wear of it and see if I like the brand itself. I already bleached the knots in the most laziest way, which is why it looks crazy. Don't do what I did. What I did was I took the wig and I just put it on top of the head and I just boo 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 boo. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> Sometimes we gotta learn lessons the hard way, okay? Even though I knew better. But um, nonetheless, which is more the reason why I'm gonna go ahead and color it because I, I don't want it to be dark anyway. So yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do, I really wanna get this color into a uh, number five shade, which is very similar to this, maybe a little bit darker, so that I can color it. Because this is a wig and not a human head, I'm gonna go ahead and do a bleach bath, which is gonna be really fast and quick. So I like to use a nice bucket that I conveniently decided to use instead of my sink, because I do not just replace the sink and I don't wanna ruin it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have all the supplies needed. I'm using 40 developer. I'm using basic white for this bath particularly, um, being that it's such a reasonable price, AKA cheap to use for a bleach bath, as well as making sure that I protect the hair. And I know that some people feel like just because it's weave or, you know, wigs, that you don't have to take care of the hair. But if you can color it, if you can curl it, if you can give it heat damage and so on and so forth, you are able to take care of it as well. And I don't treat, I used to, I used to treat my hair like anything. And then you start to realize you have to buy more hair way more often and unnecessarily than you actually need to. So whatever I use on my real hair, I would use on the wigs regardless. So the first thing I'm gonna use is, so this is My Identity by Guy Tang, and this is a collagen powder. It's going to help to strengthen the hair as well as Olaplex. I'm gonna make sure to add a couple of drops of that. So I like to use a measurer. This is a professional one. What do I mean by that? So if you're ever trying to really get proper measurement, this is something that you need. This is the Wellish. Um, I forget the name that these are specifically called. I would probably put it in the description below, but if I was to put a feather on top of this, it will give me the weight. Compared to a regular scale, which I also have, um, it's, I, I sh let me just grab it. So this is another scale that I have, which is a regular one. And it's, cheap, it's on a cheaper side, which means if I was to put a feather on top of this, it won't figure it out. It won't even know it's there. It, it literally takes a little bit of weight on here for you to get the proper measurement. And the reason why I'm explaining this to you is because to get certain grams, you need this type of scale. Um, mainly, if you want to recreate something, you have to document it. And working with a sensitive scale puts you in a position, a better position to win so that your results come out the same every single time so that was just like a little you know that's what i do i go to extra mile to make sure that i work smarter not harder for this here i think i might do three to four scoops so we came out to be 83 grams approximately 84 grams i'm going to go one to one, which means I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna dilute the powder by two of the developer, I'm gonna dilute it by one. So I'm gonna pour six scoops of the 40 developer. 
but in my case it's five five hundred and four grams so because the hair is already slightly healthy I don't need to add a lot of collagen I'm just gonna put half next I'm going in with the Olaplex I'm gonna put one inch again since it's gonna be diluted now I'm gonna slowly add the hot water a little bit at a time so I'm not sure how long I'm going to leave this in I want to watch it because I do want it to be a certain shade I don't want to over bleach it too much okay so I'm going to cover this but I'm going to definitely check on this every 10 minutes just till I get to the desired color Okay, so I'm going to actually leave it like this. So I feel like the lace part itself, the hair actually lightened up to about a 6 and 7, while the rest is some still, still a 2, which is fine because it's going to give way more dimension, plus I'm going to go in with some highlights anyway. So her hair has been shampooed and dried, no conditioner whatsoever. Um, there are pros and cons to doing the whole bath method and that is the level of inconsistency as well as blotchiness that happens throughout the hair in general it's just nothing is even so it's unpredictable and that's why I don't necessarily like it like using it all the time it is good for certain instances but not every single one so now that her hair is dry i'm going to part this and i want a money piece she's already highlighted to a six seven but i definitely want a stronger money piece in the front and i'm going to do the triangle method on the top so I am a licensed cosmetologist and there will be times when I am speaking in I guess code for the most part um, but I will do my best to try to explain what I am talking about as best as possible so that everyone can be on the same page so I want the money piece see if I can show you to be slightly covered the money piece will be in here I'm gonna do a couple of layers here but the thing is when the hair overlaps and covers it's not gonna cover all of the hair this would be the money piece with layers but if you think of this this is a triangle so if you think about if I was to part this in down the middle and it overlaps some of that money piece is going to stick out so that's why I do the triangle method, but I also don't do it. The point is not at the very tip. I do want to leave a little bit of that highlight to come out to frame the face a little bit more. So I make sure to start my triangle just about a half an inch further back. And where I'm parting it is where I would assume the back of my ear would be. which usually is after the after the lace itself where the the cap begins over here all right so i'm not trying to add a lot of foil to this so i only have five sections this is the money pieces right here in front and i'm going to do the crown and add a couple of highlights on the base of the hair just so that when it comes to the front we see a little bit of life on the inner part of the highlight being that the hair is already pretty much lifted to about a six seven i don't need to do that much work which is good so so the difference between the front and the back is that it's more of a five in shade compared to the the um the money piece 
as is a bit more of a six seven going on so to have everything pretty much even out similar I'm gonna use 30 developer in the back and 20 in the front so that we, there's a nice balance. Here I'm going in with Matrix Lift and Tone. This is like six stage lifting system. And again, I'm going in with 30 developer. This is Paul Mitchell's. I'm also going in with my identities Lift Me Up. This is in Pearl Blonde. What this is going to do is pull it off simultaneously, which is why I love it and it's super, super pigmented so I'm gonna put in two scoops which is 15 grams and I'm gonna put in two parts of the developer which is about 96 grams so for the lift me up this tones it it's gonna make it more of a cooler tone I don't want it to be too cool because this hair is going to be warm but as you can see this stuff is super pigmented I'm just gonna put a couple of drops so it's a light blue color and it's definitely going to take out some of this yellow and just kind of balance it to more of a neutral shade. Next I'm going to add in, just going to add in a little bit of the collagen as well as some Olaplex, just a little bit. So I want to frame the face when it comes to this highlight, making sure to go in the diagonal with the foil so that everything frames the face. That way I don't have to worry about putting a lot of foil because this isn't about necessarily highlighting the whole head, it's just about adding a little bit more contrast. I'm just gonna back home just a little bit. I'm using a comb to remove the hair out of my way because it can be a bit tedious. I'm starting on the center and I'm just placing this onto the hair. Now for this hair, I should have longer paper, but Cosmo Cosmoprof was not open today, even though they should have been. So I wasn't able to get the long sheets. So I'm going to do just three on this side.
So now I'm on to the money piece, which is the front of the head. And I'm not going to do the hairline itself because I don't want to look like I have no forehead once it's on, especially if it's bleached too much. I'm actually taking a bit of a thicker piece um, because I haven't plucked the hair and I'm not sure if I want to pluck it, but if I do, at least there's wiggle room. So here I'm definitely going to do a little bit of weaving. So the back has been developing for about 45 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and check the progress. So it did lift, but I want to give it some more time because I definitely want it to be around a, an 8. So I have a hot and golden hot heat cap that doesn't blow air, it just gets warm and I'm putting it on the lowest setting just to mimic a human person's head and allow some heat to help with the developer to process. So I'm gonna let that sit there for about 30 more minutes and then I'm gonna check. Okay you guys, so I shampooed the hair and dried it. It is so freaking shiny. This is why I have to show you guys. So shiny, look how shiny this hair is. Like, oh my goodness. This is why I take care of the hair during the treatments. Look how healthy that hair looks. Oh my goodness. Also, what I use during the, oh, I also wanted to show you the highlight. So I got a lot of the highlight at the ends, which is where I wanted it to be. So it's like a seven at the ends. Also, I got the nice money piece right here as well and I got a little bit of highlight here didn't want it to be too much I really wanted to keep some of that depth back there so pretty but here's a quick tip first of all <laughs> this here feels so silky and that's partly mainly 
besides using the Olaplex and the hair collagen to help the strength of the hair, keep it strong during the process. This is Guy Tang's My Hero Collagen Repair. This is a cuticle sealer and hair softening treatment. This is meant for human hair, our hair, you know, things like that. But again, I use it on my wigs, but can you imagine using this on your hair? When I tell you after back teasing this for the highlight, it's a pain in the butt during shampoo okay in order to really get it out easily and effortlessly but when using this this makes your hair super silky super super silky that it made removing the back comb so freaking easy and effortless ah uh, this is my i can't live without this and i promise you you won't either once you try it it's freaking amazing and after drying it it still feels amazingly silky and uh it's the shine for me you guys all right so now is the fun part to color so i have a few colors i'm gonna put together uh and i'm also gonna break a little bit of a rule <laughs> so for the for the root section, I'm going in with, so this is Guy Tang's Twilight Dream. I'm gonna use that in a root area and I'm also gonna break a little bit of rose. Um, and I'm going to, I didn't have any five red golden color in Guy Tang, so I'm gonna use the clear all. This is the five BRG, which is blonde red golden hair color and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to bring it down this seven is pretty high the hair is already pretty much at a seven at a seven I really want to tone it down a bit more so I'm going in with a little bit of the five just to tone that down if you guys want me to explain my process on why I'm toning it down or also with the colors because I know again everybody may not be a professional to understand exactly what I'm saying but if you do want me to break it down because this is a little bit extra for me to say put it down in a comment and I, I will make sure in the future that that's what i would do for the mid section i'm going in with my identity this is 7rg which is a nice rose gold and for the end i'm going in with my identity 10rg so it's going to be a wonderful green effect and it's going to be fun i'm also going to dash in some lift me up rose blonde to really push it into the rose range so i'm just going to section off the hair so i used a whole tube of twilight dream number seven which is 56 grams add about 15 grams above the 5 brg and i'm gonna add just a little bit of rose blonde and i'm using 10 developer so i did it of equal parts so it's 70 70 70 that's 140 and i'll just show you how it looks it's and again i'm gonna add in just a little bit of that collagen the collagen is added depending on the hair needs and because the hair is pretty healthy and shiny, it doesn't need as much, but it's definitely good to help repair damaged hair or help it from being damaged even further. Next, I'm going in with 7RG. I'm gonna use the whole tube. I'm going back in with a little bit of pearl, blonde, and more collagen. Last one is 10RG. So I'm just gonna use half for now, which is about 28 grams. I'm putting the smallest amount of rose blonde. Don't wanna alter it too much. 10 value. Also the 10 developer is one to one. Great. So I'm making sure to go on the perimeter of the hair roots.
So now that the perimeter is done, I'm going to now start doing and layering over doing the inner parts. Okay, so next for the mid color, I am going to, I'm actually gonna start from the bottom, being that I don't want the color to get on the light here. So now I'm taking the second color and I'm putting that on the mid section of the hair and I'm blending it into the root. I'm also opening it up just to make sure the color is fully being penetrated. but I'm not going down to the ends. And being that I still have some root color, I'm gonna add it just so that it blends in seamlessly with each other. And the thing is you have to open it up because sometimes it doesn't penetrate all the way through unless you separate it. I'm also doing this to make sure that it blends in with the root as well. But I'm making sure to apply the color that I want to penetrate first, first, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I want this color here more to be more prominent, so I make sure to apply it first before blending it in. I'm also moving up slightly. So as you can if you can see, this is the hair I just did, which is more blonde compared to down this one right here is less blonde. So as I go up towards the head, I'm also applying less pigment um, further down, lower on the hair shaft. So that's just in case, like if you cut it, um, there, the color will still be there and you're not missing out on, you know, the variations because especially if it's being layered. And the reason why I do this technique is because I like layering. I like depth. I like variation so even when it comes to my makeup when it comes to my hair when it comes to my clothes everything about me is all about blend 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 in that way and that's part of the reason why it's important for me to go the extra mile to really make sure I get the results that I'm looking for because it is extra work it is but if you was to get your hair done professionally by a colorist this is what they're going to do. They're gonna go the extra mile. They're gonna give you what you're looking for that a box color can't possibly do. 
as well as you know keep your hair healthy <laughs> while they're in the process of you know creating a masterpiece so this is the easy part because now I just get to go through the ends See, they all come together so it just makes it a really fast process just to go through and just get these ends covered and I'm making sure to go in to blend it in I'm making sure to get the product where I want it first and then I'm gonna go in and blend those two sections together that way I'm not contaminating the lower part and getting more product on there than I actually want So I ran out of 10G and still need to do the front, so. So for the front of the money piece, I have a, just a little bit of the mid color left. What I'm going to do is just apply just a little bit to get the gradation. Not too much, because I. that's why I'm not being picky. Where it goes meaning I'm not sectioning it off because I just I really want to saturate with the money with the highlighted color the most but I don't want to miss out on a gradation Again, I'm going through the bottom half and I'm just really working in the color and making sure that it's fully saturated. Then I'm going to leave this on for about 25 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so here's the finished look, you guys. I love the way the color came out. Again, this is a rose gold. So you see a lot of the gold at the top, but you see the money piece is highlighted and towards the end, it is a lot more lighter and pinker in shade. And that's because it's the lightest color of blonde that we're working with. Compared to up here, it's definitely more in the gold family, but you definitely see the money piece compared to the back having that nice rich blend and it's a gradient effect all the way down to the highlights at the bottom which is so pretty I just love going the extra mile and, and the cut just helps the look to come together that much effortlessly oh, yeah. and as far as styling and cutting if you want to see how I did that for less than four dollars a month you can press to join and for my paid members you get to see the whole look come together and again all the products would be linked down below if you are interested I hope you enjoyed this transformation other than that please like thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye beauties